everybody, and welcome to uh, what is a special uh, VCN Vegan Chef Network vlog. Um, so, thank you for joining me on a Saturday morning, or whenever you watch back. Um, just to say, be sure to like throw me any questions, ask me during the live show, or ask me afterwards, and I'll pick up on them, and I'll try and answer them as best as I can. And if I can't, then I'll pass you to another source that can. So, as vegan chefs, we are always looking for ways to make uh, food even healthier than it is, uh, even quicker than, than, than we normally can, because of course that helps from kitchen. So, I know that as, as being a pro chef, um, I've been a chef since 2010, um, so I know that uh, the kind of problems that we face and that we just, we as vegan chefs, we want to produce the tastiest food possible. Because let's face it guys, when we make food, if we're feeding somebody who isn't vegan, that might be the first food that they have consciously thought, oh, this is a vegan dish, I'm gonna give it a go, see what all the fuss is about, see if it's for me. So that's kind of a lot of pressure on our shoulders. So we wanna make sure that the food that we're producing is amazing because we might actually convert somebody during that time. And also for people who already are vegan, it encourages them to actually stay vegan as well and to show it off to their friends and family. So it's up to us to make food as tasty and healthy and as special as possible. So I found out about a really great way to do that that is completely like not what you would expect whatsoever. Um, so obviously like quite often I look into how to make food better and healthier um, and have more vitamins and minerals in it and that type of thing by the ingredients that I use. So I'm really really big on top quality ingredients. I get um, vegetables from Riverford, um, I get a lot of uh, ingredients from Clear Spring, absolutely love their, their ingredients, most of them are organic and they're really like all these things are like real high spec stuff which is great because it, it means that when we're actually cooking as chefs, we don't really need to do too much to it if we've got those great ingredients. But this is something completely different. So I did introduce this last week on my own vlog, which is Vegan Chef Day. So check that out. Um, but you might not know what it is. So let me bring in what this, this magic thing is. So it's a pan. It's a pan. Um, and not just any pan. This is a cast iron pan, which is why it's heavy. <laughs> I'm glad I've been to the gym this week. So, these pans are by a maker called Gizanetiva. Oh, bugger, that's gonna be, that's gonna be mirrored. <laughs> but I will put a link um, in the comments so you guys can, can check this out for yourself and read all the, all the stuff that comes with it. But I'm gonna give you a quick kind of run through all of the great, great points in it. So, it's cast iron. As I mentioned on my page, it means that these pans, uh, they cook food more evenly, um, but the big, big, big selling point is that it adds a ton of iron to your food in a very, very healthy way. So, um, of course, we quite often think about uh, non-stick pans and the chemicals that are in them and the fact that, you know, if you scratch it, then all those chemicals can leach out into your food and that's a really, really bad thing. But with these pans, because uh, they're made from such pure ingredients, um, the iron will go into your food. So it's a great way to boost iron in your daily diet. Um, and apparently it can release as much iron as a woman needs in a whole day. Um, so that's the really big selling point. Gino is coming in again. He did this last week as well. So um, I think, oh God, you're walking all over the pans. Come on. Um, so new adopted kitten. Hello. Say hello to everybody. Um, he apparently he likes the limelight. So takes after mum then. Anyway, so <laughs> just to run through the other kind of like quite um, lay person friendly points is that it cooks quicker. Um, which means less time in the kitchen and lasts forever. It's got a lifetime warranty. And these things are, they are solid. They're gonna last a really long time. Uh, but you've got a lifetime warranty, which means that if something does happen to it, um, then you can you can get it replaced. Um, it's non-stick, so it's got a natural non-stickness to it. 
that's a new word, um, which means that you use less oil. And that's a huge factor for a lot of people at the moment. Um, and it retains heat. So what you can do is if you're like me and you like to have seconds and thirds and fourths, um, you can just switch off the heat, leave the, 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 the remaining food in there and just keep going back for more. Or you can serve it in this on the table, um, but be sure to put something really um, thick underneath, you know, that isn't gonna conduct the heat and ruin your table because this gets hot. But it looks really nice presentation-wise on the table. Um, and it's a real even heat. So one of my bugbears is hot spots in pans. It's really, really annoying. And hot spots can happen when, when you get a den or when the pan isn't, it is slightly thinner. Like, and, and literally, like it just has to be slightly thinner in one place um, for a hot spot to happen. So you can particularly tell that when you're when you're making things like pancakes. So like one side will cook quicker than the other one or you'll get like a burnt bit, that type of thing. But you don't get it from these. So I've been messing around with these over the last like, couple of weeks, by the way. Um, uh, and you also, you can you can use it from, you can use it on the hob and then you can put it into the oven. But I wanted to go more into the technical side of things because you guys are chefs um, or wanna be chefs. So, you know, of course, like we do get more into the technical aspect of the tools that we're using, the food that we're using, the ingredients that we're using. Um, so these guys, they're made with really, really high spec materials. So hematite, carbon and silicon. So it means that there's none of those like freaky chemicals that are gonna leach out into the food. And it means that they're, they're solid. They're really, really solid. Um, which in a professional kitchen, it really does make a huge difference because you use these things constantly, constantly. So, you know, it isn't, um, it isn't like just being, you know, a, a passionate home cook. Yes, you will, you might use it every day, but when we're in the kitchen as professional chefs, we're using it all the time, you know, and, and some people that you work with aren't that gentle with these things and you know so we want things to be as hard wearing as possible and these pans definitely are so uh the way that they're made is as a mold is created um and then you know the hematite etc is poured into it um but that mold is made with really 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 fine sand and what that means for the pans is that they are super smooth they are really really smooth so that really helps with you know when we're when we're moving things around the pan um and just like the even the even heat of it as well um the pans are also hand finished so it means that they aren't this kind of like mass produced nonsense that they're gonna last like five minutes in a professional kitchen. Um, and you know, with all those like mass produced ones, you can tell like, you know, they aren't they aren't as solid. They don't hold together, you know, for, for anywhere near as long in a professional kitchen. Um, so they are then heated to 900 degrees. I have no idea how hot that is, but it's like really, 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 really hot. Not as hot as the sun. And not as hot as like, I don't know, today is. Can I somewhere in between? <laughs> it's really, really hot. <laughs> but what that means is that it protects, protects against rust. So these things aren't gonna rust, um, which is great because that is one of the issues I think that they used to experience with cast iron, which is maybe why it passed out of favor. Um, and then it's treated with extra virgin olive oil. And again, heated, but this time to 350 degrees. So what that means is that it's non-stick, um, which I mentioned before, which non-stick means that you have to use less oil, which is like a huge um, thing for a lot of people at the moment. Um, we're seeing a lot of the vegan doctors in America go real anti-oil. And whatever happens in America, it tends to come over here as, as a food fashion for better or for worse. Um, so I'm sure that we're gonna see more of that in the next coming years. Um, so you might wanna dial down the amount of oil that you're using, and, and this is a great way to do it with that non-stick, but with the healthy non-stick. So um, it also means that it's scratch-proof, um, and it also means that it's okay at really high temperatures, um, and also with, with most detergents as well. You don't wanna use anything really harsh on here, like, like really harsh, but you probably won't anyway. Um, so one thing that I do also really, really like about these things is that they're one solid piece. Um, and what that means is that you don't have any wobbly handles 
you know, all those handles that, that start to crack and break at really high temperatures. Um, and of course, like being, you know, in a, in a professional kitchen, that's always a worry for our own health and safety um, because of, you know, the, the handles coming off at a really like inopportune time, um, but also for health and safety for our customers as well, um, because food, you know, little bits of like dirt can get caught in the handles and then we can't really get them out properly, um, which is really bloody annoying. But with these things, like you'll be able to like clean it and get it as a new. Um, so that's one thing that I really, really like about these pants. So now what can we make in them? So I've been experimenting this week with making um, sauces, a lot of sauces in these and braising. <gasps> braising is like my favorite thing in the world. Um, so if you haven't tried braising before, please do because it's a really, really, really great way um, to keep flavor in food. Now they say with these pans that food tastes better with the pans. I I would like to do a taste test first to really really tell you whether whether that's true. Um, I think that just because of the even heat and, and that type of thing and less oil, it probably will taste better anyway. Um, but I might have to do a blind taste test um, live. <laughs> And then we can really put it to the test. Um, so we, here we've got one of the flat pans, and the, the, this is a quite a big one. So, so these I would recommend. I think this is like thirty-two centimeter, thirty-two centimeter diameter. Um, I'll put, I'll find it out for definite and put that in the comments. Um, these, these are quite big. So for a professional kitchen, I would say yes, definitely. Or if you had quite a big. Um, uh, you know, like hob surface where things were really spaced out. Uh, they're a bit too big for my home kitchen. So I would say the smaller versions, um, I think that there's a 24, um, that would be better for a home kitchen because then it doesn't cover up the other rings. But for a professional kitchen, the bigger, the bigger, the better really. Um, so we've got one that is just completely flat on the bottom. And then we've got this one that they call a grill. I would call it a griddle pan, either, either or, tomato, tomato. <laughs> um, but I don't know if you can see the lines on there, I hope you can. There we go, you can see them. Right, uh, all of you professional chefs will know out there that one way to make food look even nicer is for it to have stripes on it. It does, it just looks so much tastier. So whether you're making uh, veggie burgers or um, aubergine or mushrooms, anything like that on here, it would look really, really lovely. Vegan halloumi, yeah, that's that's gonna go on my list of recipes to develop. Um, if you've got a recipe for that actually, like just, yeah, send me a link to it. I promise I won't copy it, I promise. <laughs> But um, but yeah, food does look so much better um, when when it's got these stripes on it. Uh, so if you're doing food photography, uh, I did some uh, some recipes for the Vegan Society. I think maybe a couple of years ago, and with I used mini aubergine. You know, like the long mini aubergine, and I I used a griddle pan, and it looked so yummy, really really yummy. So that's one way um, to make your food look a bit fancier and a bit yummier. So and also with um, you find that with grill pans as well, or griddle pans, uh, not it, it doesn't get so so oily because the oil will go down in to the bottom and it won't affect the food so much. So that's a really good bit, bit of kit as well. Um, now with uh, this one, this flat one, what I would like to make with it next is a tarte tartan. Tarte tartan is perfect for these guys because you need to cook it on the hob first and then you take it and you put it in the oven. So with anything like that, these guys are are perfect for it. Um, so they are on the expensive side, but they'll last forever. So I kind of see it as an investment, either for um, you know a, a professional chef 
um, you know that you're gonna use these things again and again and again, and you're gonna need them to be hard wearing. So you wanna kind of make that investment. Otherwise you end up buying, you know, every six months or whatever it is. Or they're really good for a vegan foodie. So fortunately in the vegan scene, our, how can I say it? Our expectation of what vegan food should be and can be has risen so much in the last couple of years. Um, so there's a lot of vegan fooders out there. You know the type. They've got some truffle oil in the in the cupboards. They know what zatar is. They use pomegranate molasses every now and again. You know that type of person. These would be a great gift for them um, because they are kind of like a gift thing. You know, uh, they are. You know, they're they're kind of special and it's going to last forever. So, you guys ask me questions. Uh, in the next few weeks, I will be sharing some recipes um, with these pans, um, especially my one pot dishes. So that's to come in uh, in the next month in July on Instagram. So you can find me on there as well. I'm Vegan Chef Day pretty much everywhere, like literally everywhere. So come and ask me questions. I hope you guys have a lovely Saturday and thank you for joining me when the sun is shining and you could be outside, you know, I don't know, do it, doing whatever vegans do on a Saturday. So I will love you and leave you. Ask me questions and I will, um, I'll put a link in the comments to where you can get these guys online. It's a company called Whites. So, Gizanativa, uh, and have a happy Sunday. Bye.